All right, guys, we are at ProTech with Matt over here. So we're gonna take a look at some of the most, I guess, rare knives that ProTech has to offer. You guys know I love ProTech. So we're gonna hand it off to him and then uh, show you guys what's up. All right, Matt, what's going on, man? Hey, welcome to Blade Show. Good to see <laughs> yeah. you, Matt. This is the first one, so like you guys brought out some crazy stuff. Let's take a look and see what you got. Sure. So this is the biggest blade show in the history of ProTech knives. We have over 70 SKUs for our product line here, from 150 all the way to $14,000. We're going to show you a few here today. Whoa. Uh, we have so many here at the booth. We'd love for more people to come by. A um, lot of good stuff to see. So kind of going down the line, we have a ton of Malibu flippers. It's been our best seller at America's Pocket Knife for the last three years. This is a nice gray anodized textured handle, 20 CV blade. DLC black, super cool wow. monochromatic, smooth butt to lock action. We also have a fan favorite sapphire blue as well. We've made this a couple times, small production quantities, available here at the show, abalone push button, zirconium nitride sapphire blue finish. Wow. Super durable coating, also really elegant looking. And then if you ever wanted to class it up, get our super classy Malibu as well. We have some really neat custom titanium Malibus. So a 3D contoured handle, hand fit and, ch and chosen pearl inlays, a Chad Nichols mind meld carbon mosaic Damascus blade, a titanium backspacer with a matching mill titanium pocket clip. And we have a bunch of these in different colors, inlay types, engraved, non-engraved, all titanium. Um, you know, come to the show here, and we, we've spent a lot of time tricking out these knives. We do a bunch of custom finishes as well. Definitely our most desired knife at the moment is probably our Mordax Flipper. This one especially with the honeycomb texturing as well. There's a huge demand for these. We're trying to make as many as we can. Uh, definitely a small batch production product right now and something that we hope to ramp up in the future. Magna Cut Flipper, again, that silky smooth action. Bigger, more ergonomic than the Malibu. A little beefier tip as well. So if you just want something a little more durability. Full size, Mordax yes, is the way to go, man. That's, it's a great that's one. awesome, yeah so comfortable too. Mm -hmm. This video is brought to you by Urban EDC Supply, my go-to EDC suppliers when it comes to all things EDC. Whether you're looking for a fidget, if you're looking for knives, if you're looking for the Urban Minimalist, it will be available at urbanedcsupply.com. Shout out to Urban EDC for making coverage of Blade Show Atlanta for everyday minimalists possible. And I'll be leaving an affiliate link in the description below if you wanna help support the channel. Make sure you guys sign up for their newsletter as well so that way you know when drops happen. They usually happen about one Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can get your hands on really limited gear. Again, huge shout outs to Urban EDC. Let's get to the show. One of our Blade Show, show specials that we have here is our TR5 Rose Gold. This one has a feather, tether, uh, feather pa pattern as well. That thing is glorious. So oh kind of like the sapphire blue, this is a zirconium nitride based finish. It's the same coating you would see on the, the side of an end mill or a custom barrel of a gun. It's super durable. Matching hardware, even hardware underneath the clip has been rose gold. That's crazy. Serialized for the show as well. This is a really cool Oh, so this is a show ex exclusive. It is, yes, sir. Nice. And then okay. a few things about the TR5 that makes it really a fan favorite. That secondary lock so that it doesn't open your pocket. And then the glass breaker as well. Oh, let me get a close-up on that. There we go. Perfect. One of the last products we made for the show, right before we left, we actually had to overnight ship these to the show. No, you didn't, wow. It's crazy, I mean, we've been working on the show for you know, four and a half months. Um, yeah. Even to the last week, we're still making stuff. This one wasn't planned for the show, but it came right off the machine. We built them as fast as we could. So this is the first titanium SBR with what we call the double feather pattern. That really caught my eye. It's like, one of the it, hardest yeah. patterns for us to run in our shop. Um, takes the longest of all the models we do, honeycomb, gridlock, everything. Pearl button, again, titanium, hand finished, a two-tone anodized, so bronze on the chamfers, blue anodized on the front, and then a Vegas Forge Spirograph Damascus. Holy cow, that Damascus is well. beautiful too. That's... And we love the guys at Vegas Forge, they're here at the show as well. Yeah. You should definitely stop by. Absolutely. This is also the big show for all the Bob Trizola ATCF knives as well. He'll actually be at the booth. Is uh, that an operator? Today. It is. Oh so my god. We've made the operator once, it was for our Facebook group, and Bob Trizola actually carries the exact operator ATCF as well. Oh. So Tritium push button, completely sterile, the same titanium milled 
pocket clip you would get on a custom Bob Trizola knife. Again, that super sleek action, the perfect balance to it. It's been a really great piece for us. Last year it won both Investor Collector Knife of the Year for one of our customs and also Collaboration of the Year as well. That is beautiful, man. That is crazy. And if you get real specific about the Investor Collector Knife of the Year for 2022, it was actually this piece right here. So this is, you know, everything done to a Protec knife, everything in-house, sending out to an engraver, a diamond push button, hand engraved oh by Wade God. Oliver Wilson with 24 karat gold, three million year old Siberian uh, Mastodon tooth inlays, a Chad Nichols Virus Damascus blade. You know, a project like this might take a, an entire year to go from start to finish. So we've only made two of these in existence, one last year and it won our award. And then from the day we got back from the show, we started on the next one and we finished it just in time for the show. Absolutely stunning. And Hold just on. like any of our other models, fires just as fast, just as reliable. Really cool to have a full range of products here at the show. Another super popular one, uh, again, it was shown on our Facebook group first. This is a 17.4 stainless steel chassis as opposed to titanium or 416. So 17.4 is a super durable steel alloy. It's known to have <coughs> super high strength, uh, really good hardness as well. We actually machine these chassis in a hardened state. So generally when you machine material, especially for steel, you want to machine it in a soft state and then heat treat it afterwards. We actually heat treat them first and then machine them. It takes a lot more of a cycle time. You're breaking more engraver bits trying to try to machine it, but you get this excellent pattern. Super precise. Beautiful. And then the blade on this is hand ground by Mike Erie. It's Vegas Forge Herringbone Damascus. Crazy blade. Wow. One of the last customs that we made for the show, another piece by Wade Oliver Wilson out of Texas. So, fun fact, Wade Wilson used to be a pinstriper for hot rods in his 20s and 30s. <laughs> so when we wanted to do something completely different from his ATCF piece, we wanted just a completely different style. So he did a pinstripe theme, kind of from back in the day when he used to do it on vehicles as well. Almost like a flame tailpipe on the back of this piece as well. Crazy looking knife. And this is just a very small handful. I mean, if you look through the case, you can see Three cases full of a ton of different products. Check this out, guys. Yeah, there's just knives on knives. Of course, these are gonna like be gone ASAP once the show opens. <laughs> if you've never been to a Blade Show Atlanta, it's the show to go to. There's so many places here, not just for Protect, but for a lot of our friend companies here as well. Um, we're glad you stopped by. Thank you so much, bro. Should they join you on the Facebook group? Or? Absolutely. So okay. our Facebook page is uh, the Protect Enthusiast Underground. Excellent group. We do some drops from time to time. We'd love to show what we're working on currently and the shows we're about to go to. Heck and then yeah, definitely man. follow our Instagram as well. So Pro Tech Knives at Instagram. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you so much, bro. Thanks, man.